Hey dear, welcome back to another new video. So today I'm going to review Lineage OS on my Xiaomi Mi 4W. So if you are not new in my channel, maybe you have seen this device. So basically I bought this device to install Windows 10 mobile on the phone. But unfortunately the, uh, the version I chosen, that one is the wrong one. So you can install Windows 10 on Mi 4 device, but it only support LTE device, not 3G one. So this is Mi 4W, not Mi 4 LTE. So when I bought, actually I asked the seller about that. He said it does support LTE, but when I got it, I saw it's Mi 4W. But as you know, if you buy something from online, if you pay it, then there is nothing you can do because I bought it from Facebook marketplace. So nothing you can do with it. So by the way, um, uh, still I have the phone and I did, I was looking for some custom ROM for this phone and I got one which is running on Android 11. So this is Lineage OS 18.1 and it's quite a good ROM actually. It's better than my UI that I was running previously and it's quite good ROM. But it has some issue with GApps installation. So basically... Um, I, I could not able to install GFs on this phone because of the, the, the internal storage is very small. Like the Pico GFs need like one, uh, 140 MB of storage, but this one only have 120 MB of storage to install GFs, so it doesn't work. And I did something to install GFs on it, so I, I will show you how I did it. So first of all, let's talk about the, rom so rom is very basic you will not get much apps so as you can see i have installed magics now and play store and micro g as i said i will tell you how you can install the play store here and there in, these things are there a little bit and this is a uh, of i think the magic repo manager which i downloaded to install some repo from magic and this is mix explorer also i have installed so a few of the apps are in pre-installed with this rom and it's about 400 mb and if you are installing Mi 4W, Mi 4 LTE, or whatever, you can flush this ROM as long as your device is, I think, Kencaro. So if you are can you are using Kencaro, you can install it this ROM. So it's about 400 megabyte, and the micro is, uh, GFs is not available. I tried many things actually GFs like uh, changing the partition, formatting the partition. It didn't work. So the the beauty of this ROM is that it's really good uh, optimized so if i go to the setting uh firstly first of all i'm telling you this device has some touch screen issue so if you see anything like it's working like automatically then no nothing to it it's not uh, rom's fault so as you can see here if i go to the developer option and if i show you ram management now so as you can see it's 2.2 gigabyte of ram it's free right now i'm not running anything but 2.2 gig it's really optimized so only only using my 800 mb as i said it's it's quite optimized and if i go here the storage so the, the mi 4w comes with 16 gig of storage or 64 gig i think lte version i don't know about that so as you can see here you are getting uh out of out of 16 gig still you can use like 12 or 13 gig free so you are getting a lot of free uh, memory so you can install whatever you want so then now if i go to the camera section so you are getting a camera i don't know what camera is it so this is a uh, maybe a lineage os camera so the camera is working just fine for this device so as you can see i can focus i can take photo but i still i'm looking for a working um what it called gcam but i couldn't able to find i'm looking for it if i get one i will put the link in the description like the rom so as you can see the the front camera and back camera are working fine i have tried these things and it's working fine so i don't have any photos sample photos to show you because uh, i'm trying to install g apps and i have to format the phone many times whatever i take photos is already erased so i'm not doing it so let me show you why i we can't install g apps on this device so if i go mix scroller by the way so as you can see the root is only 120 mb of um 120 mb megabyte is free from the internal storage for the installing the g apps but if you go into the install g apps it will say it's nearly about 144 mb so that's why you can't install and i tried many things actually it's already uh it didn't work i've been trying but it didn't work but so what i did is that i just installed magisk 
So as you can see, the magic is uh, working just fine. And I install another app called. Uh, so you can install this uh, app. So it's called uh, Fox Magic Module something like uh, Magic Module Manager. So you can install this, and if you open it, so it will it will show you some repo. After installing Magisk, this one will work because it need uh, Magisk permission. Then you can search for Micro GG apps. You can install it. Then you will get your Play Store, and you can in download like G apps and uh, like Gmail and other things from there. And another thing to note is that the battery backup of this ROM is actually quite good. Although I haven't used that much this ROM, but still, the the battery was like eighty five percent when I uh, last charged this phone or uh, ninety five. And I have resetted main phone this phone many times after that. Still, it got seventy seven percent, and the bit uh, also it depends on your battery quality because this is a very uh, quite old phone right now. So the battery backup should be uh, very bad in some devices because battery is degrading day by day. But still, in this phone, it's quite good. It's better than my UI. And if I go to the Wi Fi section, so it does. Recognize the five gigahertz band, so you can install, uh, connect with five gigahertz band also. And if you go to the hotspot section, also you are getting like sharing option like two gigahertz and five gigahertz, whatever you want. If you want to share internet from this phone, although it's got only three G or my one, but if you are using like Mi Four LTE, it will work perfectly fine. So rather than that, uh, it got like if you go to security section. Maybe you will get uh, pattern and other things uh, like other ROMs. And one thing is missing, which I really like, is that uh, like full screen gesture. So maybe it, this this device has a uh, soft navigation bar, so that's why it doesn't uh, have any uh, what it called full screen gesture mode. But I saw in many devices, although they have uh, this. Soft keys is still is still the uh, full screen gesture either, but as you can see here, if I go to the gesture section, you will not get anything here. Even the three finger swipe to take the screenshot is also not available in this ROM. Maybe in future. So by the way, this ROM is running on as you can see Android 11, and uh, there is no update available. And the security patch level is October 7, 2021. It's quite old, but still it's better. That you are getting Android 11 for this device because it only comes, I think, Android 6 right now. So that the latest version of MIUI it can run is uh, version 6 Marshmallow, but still you are getting Android 11 is quite good, and everything really works fine. The camera, as I said, camera working fine, Bluetooth working fine, and your Wi-Fi is also working fine. But one of the main thing which is uh, not working is only GFs. But as I said, you can install the module from magisk manager and you can get the play store working so as you can see it's asking me to sign in but i don't really need to sign in because i'm not going to use this device right now so to show you that how can you install these things i already shared you so the rom will be in the link description below you can download it from there and you can flush it through twrp you don't need to do anything just uh wipe and install the rom it will work perfectly fine and also if you if you haven't unlocked the bootloader you cannot install this rom so you have to unlock the bootloader first and install the twrp and flush the rom but uh the one uh beauty of this phone is that you no need to take permission from xiaomi website or other things just you can write the first boot command like first boot unlocked oem then it will unlock the bootloader then just you can push the twrp through your laptop or whatever you're using and it will work fine you no need to do anything else so about the gfs issue if i get any fix maybe in the future i will make another video how you can install the gfs as for now i have tried many fixes but it didn't work for me maybe if you have any fix for this device you have installed gfs on this device then you can uh, comment below in this video and let me know i will try it and i will show you share with your other people so that's it for today thank you very much for watching and i will see